We're here with Chef Mark from Fins and Sharkies. Hello there. Well, we're going to cook in some tile fish today. Uh, the golden tile is one of my favorite fish from the Gulf of Mexico. It's a deep water fish and it's got a nice crab like sweetness to it. Oh. Mm. Yeah. So we're going to start out by pan searing this. And the oil I'm cooking in here is the oil that I roasted some garlic in earlier. So ah. I've used the roasted garlic oil for the recipe ah. here to infuse it in a lot of different ways. Nice flavor. Over here I'm sauteing some zucchini that's going to go with this dish. Again, I used the same roasted garlic oil. I have a quick oh. roasted garlic question. So how did you do that? Did you just put the cloves in oil and then I, stove top or oven? I stove top them. Really? How yeah. long does that take? Oh, about 25 minutes. Okay. Wow. I'm used to doing about a gallon of that at a time. <laughs> 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 All right, 20, so we could do that at home to yeah, roast our garlic. You certainly could, yeah. Interesting. And then you get all this oil that's a nice benefit from it. Mm -hmm. Over here, we're going to make romesco salsa, which is a Spanish style sauce made with ground almonds. So we're going to put those in here first. Almonds. Okay. Roasted red peppers. Now I fire roasted these uh, back at work in our charcoal Jasper oven. Some fire roasted tomatoes. I love that them oven. Them That's the top oven top. that gets yeah. to. Um, I just uh, coat them with olive oil and put them on the grill until the skin blisters to where I can peel it off. A lot of work goes into this beforehand. This is some smoked paprika. A little pinch of crushed red pepper. Now I have some fresh garlic here. Depending upon your likes, you can use fresh garlic, gives you a little bit sharper flavor, or you can use the roasted garlic I have here. All right. We're going to put that in there, and we're going to put in about a quarter cup of some nice red wine vinegar. And Nate, you want to go ahead and put the lid on there and oh, puree on, that up Nate. for us? Okay, look out, world. Here we go. You can do this. And then push yep, the button. Yeah, go ahead. You're making it look easy, Nate. Yes. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty good there so far. Wow. That's quite a machine. So from there, then we, this it. sauce gets thickened with breadcrumbs. I use the panko oh, breadcrumbs, that, uh, or you can use old stale bread as the more traditional recipe. Yes, so do my more story. Story. And then uh, we're going to put some parsley in here, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of black pepper, and then that's stirred up again. So this would be a Spanish style dish then, right. with the sauce and the vegetables. Yep. And there's our. You can tell the fish is up easily. If it okay. sticks to the pan, you're not quite ready to flip it. Stop it then we're good on the romesco sauce. Well, this is a great quick meal. So let's plate some of this up. Chef, oh. you mentioned earlier the Jasper oven, and I'm always jealous of it. How, how warm does that oven get at the restaurant? Oh, it, uh, we cook it at about uh, 800 to 1,000 degrees. Wow. And what kind of advantage does that give when you're doing something like the red peppers or your infamous steaks? Um, well, the high heat is definitely good on the red pepper because you can blister the skin to where they're easy to peel, and I'm not cooking the whole fruit inside. Mm -hmm. ah. Just the outside. And for our steaks, um, you get the uh, unique mesquite charcoal flavor along with the high sear. Mm. So twice as hot as our oven. Yes. Yeah. So, and then we have the romesco sauce on the bottom of our plate. Nice. I'm going to put some of sauce. this zucchini. And just a basic oil saute there? Yep, salt, pepper, and uh, but I used the roasted garlic oil oh, we talked about earlier. Okay. That makes a lot of difference. Yep. That looks good, and we're finishing up the fish there. Tile fish, something we can find in area fish markets? Um, I believe it probably is. It is a local it's a fish. Local. It's, yeah. uh, it's in the Atlantic also, up, up about halfway up the coast. All right, well, there's nothing better we like than local mm. fresh fish, and no better place to get it than Fins at Sharky's. Go visit Chef Mark and Tile Fish, of course, on the menu there with many other great events coming up, including wine dinners this coming month. Thanks, Chef Mark. That looks great. We are going to be digging in, that's for sure. Fins at Sharkies.com for all the latest happenings there. Nate, great to have you with us. Glad to be back always. Here you'll be back later this week. We're looking yeah, forward to that. I'm lucky. Yeah. All right. And don't forget about the great sunsets you can see at Sharkies on the Pier as well. And they're early this time of year. Everybody enjoy the rest of your day. Hand over those forks, Joey. <laughs> Take some time and enjoy the Sun Coast view. All right.